Camera is a standard sensor, very popular. It's very mature. It's the sensor that comes in the highest resolution. It has the highest amount of information. It's a passive sensor. So traditionally, we knew that all the information there in the camera is great to use, but before deep learning could not really make, take into use a lot of it for two reasons. Not only that the models themselves did not exist, but also the compute to really effectively process these large images did not really exist. And so now that's no longer true. So camera is an extremely powerful sensor and you can do a lot with cameras. LiDAR became potentially historically over the last 10 years, the most popular sensor for self-driving. It is an unparalleled sensor in the sense that it combines really accurate dense depth and it's an active sensor which is important because it has additional benefit for safety. And honestly, if you start comparing the performance of these sensors, especially in areas of some reasonable proximity to the vehicle, which can be up to 100 meters, in terms of accuracy that you can obtain for your object modeling, at least at a geometric level, a LiDAR dominates still, right? And radar is also very popular for other reasons. It's really great sensor for weather because the RF waves can travel reasonably well. They don't degrade as much as uh, LiDAR and potentially camera in fog and uh, rain, right? Also, radar is very complementary to cameras because cameras, they're really great at semantics and understanding what is there qualitatively. They're really good at estimating the relative position, the lateral position of things and the lateral motion. But they're really not so good at estimating depth or velocity in the longitudinal relative to the ray in which you observe the object. And that's exactly what radar is good at because what radar does is, especially for metal objects, it measures super well the distance to it. And it also directly measures velocity, which for camera, it's a very derivative concept, which is yet more inaccurate, radar really decreases the uncertainty in this measurement. So it really complements the strengths of cameras. And so that is a good property. Also, radars are very cheap, um, but they also have their uh, shortcomings, things are like resolution and especially vertical resolution. Often you need a lot of antennas to get vertical resolution. So things like overpasses and so on, you cannot tell if the object is potentially, especially for static objects above you or, or at your level given the vertical resolution, and that's problematic, right? And this is something that LiDAR, for example, can do well. And so each of these sensors, when put together, there is a case where one more sensor is good, right? And that's how at Waymo we have arrived to this uh, combination of, of the three. And of course, ideally you would say, oh, isn't it great to just have one sensor, what simplicity? But if you think about safety and ability to generalize to all conditions well, these three historically have proven very powerful together. And so Waymo's stack has evolved like this and a lot of the uh, main manufacturers as well of self-driving systems.